of women work in the transport industry in India today as bus and train drivers, port workers, airline pilots and cabin crew in the capacity of executives, call center staff and office workers in mobile and non-mobile categories doing technical and non-technical jobs. Over the years, they have been vehemently fighting the massive male domination in their respective areas of work. The union was the main strength behind us going to court and everything. So whatever we, we owe today, it's to the union for sure. हमारे यूनियन में महिलाओं की भागीदारी काफी हद तक बहुत आगे आ चुकी है और आने के लिए बहुत इच्छुक भी रहती हैं पहले मीटिंग में नहीं आ पाती थी अभी मीटिंग अटेंड करती हैं सेमिनार भी अटेंड करती हैं हर मीटिंग में पहुंचती हैं भैया हम उन्नीस साल से मतलब इसमें यूनियन में उन्नीस साल हमारी सर्विस हो गए इन्होंने हमारे को बहुत साथ दिया इन्होंने हम जहाँ घूमने जाते हैं वहाँ भी ऑफिस में भी कोई परेशानी होती है तो इन्होंने हमारी बहुत साथ देते हैं हम फटे उन्न के पास जाते हैं वो हमारे सब मदद करते हैं हमारे बारे में सोचते हैं कि हाँ तुम्हारे समस्या हल करेंगे एक वो दौर था जब हम ऑफिस का काम निपटा करके सीधे घर भाग जाया करते थे लेकिन अब यूनो ऑफिस जाते हैं लोकल और इंटरनेशनल मीटिंग अटेंड करते हैं और वहाँ अपनी बात रख पाते हैं ट्रेड यूनियंस है डिफरेंस टू द लाइफ ऑफ वेमेन यूनियंस नीड वेमेन में as much as the women need unions but unions can only deliver real benefits if they take targeted measures to identify women's concerns and to help and support them at work they also need to ensure that in the democratic structures of the unions women have representation at all levels including in the decision making levels by doing so unions activities become a platform for achieving real equality i think our union should have a separate cell for women especially in the office there should be uh, some responsible positions of women where they will be given uh, proper chambers to sit in wherein female employees can come and frankly and openly talk about their issues their problems which they otherwise hesitate in front of uh, male members so if the separate women office is created and uh, Uh, and leading positions are given to the women then i think women uh, involvement will be much much more we have significant amount of women in the aviation industry as a workforce but where are they in our unions i think they are sadly missing in the unions or any uh, decision making uh, process in every department every activity we have the presence of women so they are an integral part of the work we do in aviation and very naturally they should be in the forefront of even the trade union in aviation if we want to make our presence felt then firstly we should have somebody in the decision making level first that first step is that towards uh, strengthening of our uh, women swing and second thing if a separate fund is being allotted then we can plan activities on our own and uh, we can make more participation of women in, by increasing the number of activities most positions occupied by women in unions are nominated ones and only few are contested ones every union should encourage women to come up don't keep them as show pieces just for your ceremonials to show that you have got women employees bring them on stage allow them to speak take uh, take the uh, minds in, uh, or their suggestions while taking any decisions then there should be gender sensitization programs and reservation of women uh, women office wears in all setup local as well as national level local level we have succeeded but at national level we have not succeeded why i want reservation at national level because without that there will be no opening The general feeling is that women are suppressed to voice out their opinions by being outnumbered by men and their dominating attitude in the unions and also due to the insensitive attitude of the male colleagues with the formation of women structures it is up to the women to make themselves visible in the union's political bodies by demanding reservations for certain posts and contesting elections in earlier in the union office none of the women was there but today 
they have amended the constitution and the first time you can say that there will be the 10 percent reservation and this from this year 2009 they are going to implement it i think that's a great achievement women membership and leadership issues are directly linked to resolving workplace issues such as occupational health and safety maternity protection overtime and sexual harassment they are not coming out but every lady is subjected to some type of thing so for do we approach such cases jaha management ka i cannot raise my voice against the management even to the sexual harassment committee i i feel ki now that responsibility also we have to take because uh, it is so um, dormant so stagnant and uh, last uh, 3 years we have been telling them but they are not doing anything so i feel ki it's uh, uh, everything now union has to take up the sexual harassment committee should be formed with such people who know what that pain is who know how to fight for it the thing is because of the attitude and the approach of the sexual harassment committee and the management people are not coming forward they are not lodging complaints how to conduct the enquiry and how to deal with such type of cases that was my main objective that's what i requested them why don't you have a program for all the complaints committee of all the major points i was on contractual basis there you working you serving the company from last two years and when it comes to the, Uh, you know maternity leave they said you were a retainer and you will not get maternity leave so finally i had to resign we will solve our problems by meeting together this is very important we are the ladies we are the energy we have the energy and we will solve our problem by coming together and this is very much necessary in this world mm-hmm. come together bringing women closer through networking would invariably increase their visibility in the unions essentially in the contemporary situation where women in india are coming out of the stereotype shells and are now participating in the frontline occupations therefore it is essential that the equality issue is mainstreamed and becomes central to the bargaining and non bargaining agenda of the union i agree that uh, so far they are not uh, the part of the bargaining activities in a big way i think that much more is required from the women side as well as the federation and the union should also give them a chance There is a notable downtrend in women workforce in the organized transport sector due to the restructuring process in the country mainly privatization and globalization ban on new recruitments retirements jobs being contracted and outsourced and so on which seems to be affecting the strength of the unions as well permanent positions are not being filled up and so more and more casual and contract uh, workers are being employed and that includes women लेकिन अपन अपने जे आता अपनेक एक सीट्स मध्य खूब कंपनीज है तिकड़े कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेबर्स हैं जे वर्कर्स जे हैं वर्कर्स मना अपने लेडीज मना इंजीनियर्स मना दे आर नॉट युनाइटेड स्मॉल स्मॉल कंपनीज आर देर तो अपन का युनाइटेड काम करू शको का कारण तधी सुधा ब्रेक देता एंड दे आर सीटिंग आइडल एंड देर लाइफ इज बिकम मिजरेबल सो वी कैन डू फॉर दे अन ऑर्गन वर्कर के लिए तो बहुत जरूरी है यूनियन की इन लोगों से 10 घंटा 12 घंटा ड्यूटी करवाया जाता है मगर वो भी अगर नहीं करेगा तो दूसरा दिन उन लोगों को निकाल देता है उस डर के मारे से उनको रुकना ही पड़ता है वहाँ नहीं रुकेगा तो उनको कल का डर है तो इसके लिए उनको ये भी पता नहीं कि किसके पास हम जाए तो ये बहुत जरूरी है इसके लिए कुछ यूनियन की जरूरत है स्टेशन पर देखती हूँ बहुत बदलाव आ चुका है और जो ठेकेदार के लोग काम करते हैं वो जो काम भी बहुत करते हैं उन्हें मदद तो कहाँ से मिलेगी हमें तो यूनियन से मिल जाती है लेकिन उन लोगों को कहाँ से मिलेगी मैं इस बारे में सोचती रहती हूँ सबकॉर्स आई हर्ड अबाउट यूनियंस एंड आई नो द मेनी ओल्ड पीपल वर्किंग देर एंड बट आई डोंट नो हाउ इट वर्क एक्चुअली हाउ यूनियनिज्म वट यूनियनिज्म इज ऑल अबाउट आई विल बी इंटरेस्टेड बट यू नो इट हैज़ टू बी सम वन ऑफ आर एज ग्रुप सम वन विच वी कैन रिलेट विथ ऑफिस में यही डर लग रहा था कॉन्ट पहले तो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेसिस में वन ईयर का होता है अब यही डर लग रहा था कि अगर ख़त्म हो जाए तो अब अगले महीने शायद हमें घर पे बैठना पड़े यूनियन पता तो है मतलब यूनियन क्या है पर जानकारी नहीं है उसके बारे में अगर कोई मेरी उम्र की कोई लड़की आए 
तो वो मुझे समझाए शायद मैं कोशिश करूँगी इसे करने की एंड द यूनियन बींग नॉट इनकरेज बाई द प्राइवेट एयरलाइंस so they have no one to fall back on in case they have any problems or somebody whom they can you know uh, ask for guidance so <clears throat> i feel the employment conditions uh, you know leaves a lot of room for exploitation especially where women are concerned the precarious workforce in the transportation sector which comprise of a large number of women are going to face stiffer challenges about gender roles with neither any unionization to support their issues nor having a chance to mobilize themselves against the work atrocities or workplace issues all over the world trade union movement is facing uh, going through a bad phase uh, because of the globalization privatization uh, so many people are losing jobs they are into contract uh, work or they are into casual work and uh, this is really a challenge for us uh, being a worker being a human worker it's going to happen all over so we just need to stop that these issues need to be addressed by both men and women together at this juncture the role of itf and the trade unions becomes significant in mobilizing women workforce and creating a safe and vibrant workplace for women not only in asia pacific but across the world and this is not the end this is just a beginning